impact the fentanyl crisis in Colorado. The most recent data shows fentanyl related deaths more than doubled in El Paso County last year compared to 2020. And experts say finding a solution to this public health crisis can start with our parents. News 5's Natalie Chuck sat in on a seminar for parents at Community Prep School in the Springs tonight about how to have these conversations with our kids. Natalie. Rob, were children. So education has been a huge emphasis from law enforcement and other agencies trying to save lives. Sadly, tonight's seminar for families didn't have the turnout some had hoped for. These aren't overdoses. These are poisonings. Michael DeLeon spends his life traveling the country, warning kids and families about the dangers of drugs. We're creating addiction unlike we ever have in our entire history of our country. A reality he knows all too well. DeLeon's addiction started at just 11 years old. I spent five years in prison, but I got high six months out of prison, and I went right back to prison for seven more years. So really finding my purpose, finding the purpose for my life, that's how I replaced my addiction. The now sober public speaker's most recent stop in Colorado Springs had a massive impact on some. I think more people should come to these. It's... You know, before today, I didn't think I'd be quitting anytime soon, and now I will be quitting soon. But most of the seats were empty. You don't want to believe it's your kid. You believe if you're going to go to an event about drugs or vaping, it's not your kid. It's not going to be your kid. Maybe if you go, you make it your kid. It's silly. El Paso County saw an over 20% increase in drug-related deaths in 2021 compared to 2020. And nearly 100 of those accidental overdoses were related to fentanyl. So in just five years, we've gone from a very small number to a very, very large number. I think most tragically of that group, though, was we had five young people. Um, five youth, a, a one-year-old, a five-year-old, a 15-year-old, and two 17-year-olds. And we've never seen anything like that in, in our community. The county coroner, Dr. Leon Kelly, is the one seeing the aftermath of these deaths firsthand and a father of two kids. Who I had to go home and have that conversation with about you don't ever take something from somebody else. You don't ever pick up anything off the ground. Even if it looks like a medication, don't take anything and put it in your mouth unless it's given to you by, you know, the school nurse or your parents. The only way we're going to end addiction in America is to prevent it from starting in the first place. We've got to talk to our kids. They might be hard. They might be difficult. They might be a little scary, but they're worth it. DeLeon urged passing the bill currently being debated at the state capitol that aims to toughen penalties for those who possess certain amounts of fentanyl and for those who distribute it. Right now, the bill is in the state Senate after passing out of the House. Diane. Natalie, thank you.